My name is Innocent Rakoze. I was born in Burundi and now I work as a product marketing engineer here at Texas Instruments. Innocent recently visited his native Burundi for the first time since childhood when civil violence left the country unstable and war-torn. It was an emotional homecoming, the first time he had seen his family in many years. Everyone was crying, uh, myself included. It was tough. At the same time, it was a glorifying moment in my life. Innocent's purpose in traveling home was twofold. He had raised $5,000 to provide basic supplies to the students in the school where he attended first and second grade, and he wanted to deliver them personally. It was just actually tough for me to take in, just being able to know where I live now, which is in the U.S., and seeing them, they still live in the same kind of life that I lived in when I was going to school. No school supplies. They, some of them, they don't eat before they come to school. Innocent had a message for the students, a lesson learned from childhood experiences of war, refugee camps, and from the life he built in a new land. If they have a dream, if they have anything they have a passion of, Never, 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 ever give up. Innocent knows from experience about not giving up. I always wanted to do something with my hands, do something with uh, uh, my mind. But Innocent's journey to his career was hard fought. The war really started before I was born. We had to move back and forth but just to survive. Whether the war will be happening in Burundi or will move to Congo. Whether the war will be happening in Congo or move back to Burundi. He spent several years living in refugee camps, including one in Tanzania. When he was 20, Innocent moved to the U.S. as part of a refugee resettlement program. I remember coming in the apartment and just opening the fridge. Never have a fridge before. Opening the fridge, just seeing a lot of chicken, a lot of uh, uh, food in there. We used to eat one meal a day, and now we're eating like three times. Innocent found a job cleaning toilets and floors at a hotel and worked there while he earned his high school diploma and a degree in electrical engineering from Arizona State University. Wanting to understand just how something works. The ambition of wanting to know what's behind this for it to work the way it works. He caught the attention of a manager from TI when he attended a job fair at Arizona State but his heart remains with the students in Burundi. One of my dreams or one of the things that I have is to always share the technology that we have here in the U.S. to uh, other people who doesn't have anything like back home.